step by step. He was with me, so I knew that it was going to come down to the lean at the end of the race. Hi, my name is David Niang. I'm from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and I am a hurdler on the track and field team. My mindset going into the hurdles was that um, all year I was seated number one. I had the fastest time. I knew that paper doesn't race. Um, my head coach always says that. And then my sprints coach says that it's a great day to be great. Underway in the 60 meter hurdle finals. It comes down to control and um, being calm. Every second he was on my left, um, stride for stride. Um, I was getting a little nervous because I was like, this is a step for step. But um, I tried to lean it out at the end and just like pray that my preparation got me to this position. Coming from a junior college in El Dorado, Kansas, um, I needed a home. And I knew that my friend Bryce Baker goes here. Um, we've been running on the same four by one team since middle school. We have the record everywhere we've been and I decided to come back home to Pennsylvania. Um, coming into the outdoor season, we plan to be as successful as possible. Um, we have a good four by one. Um, we plan to be champions again, back to back. And then we have a lot of individual winners that we plan to pop out this year. It's always a good feeling whenever like, you go somewhere and they're like, who's St. Francis or what is Red Flash? Because then you get to put the school along with pride. It's always that feeling that you got to go represent for the people.